Hi all, it's a uh, Krista, or a story whispered, your friendly neighborhood soft-spoken type. Uh, recently a few videos have picked up the weeest of bits more traffic than usual, and a few more people have to subscribe to whatever it is you perceive that I am offering here, and I am alerting the universe of my gratitude, officially. And while I fully recognize that this can only happen as a process, as an experience, as a creative endeavor, so long as it makes me happy to do it, it certainly gives me some sense of satisfaction as well that non-zero number of people like it. Maybe 23. My lucky number three times over. People will like it. As that soft-spoken, introverted, genuinely quiet person lurking in your periphery since the dawn of time, it's very easy to believe myself capable of invisibility, of being entirely forgotten because I don't have some bold, brassy, alternative voice setting to switch on. I don't have a personality that can shove itself to the front of the stage, but you do a bit of living and realize there's maybe something about you that's magic, whatever it is, and maybe, maybe not, but maybe. For me, my quiet has a benefit, and anyone who is hearing this, especially those going so far as to do the big LCS sweep of liking, commenting, and subscribing, you're proof of this. For me, that's a big deal. But it's not entirely enough to leave you with my own gratitude, and hope that you will find where yours lives. As you have given me a gift, I wish to give you one in return. A draft, a vial, a tincture of psychic courage. As we consult the spell books, as we swirl in the light, there are many avenues a magic-minded soul might turn to to arrive at such a potion. As a bit of liquid courage, you might pour yourself some peppermint tea or add fresh mint to your dinner nearly almost always advisable, unless dinner is peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. You just breathe in its air. If you are here, we might send you to the peppermint room at Celestial Seasonings, which will open sinuses you didn't know you had. Mint is a bit bracing, clarifying. Of course, some suggest chamomile for the restoration of powers of the mind. So if you might mix them both together, you could settle into the quiet of yourself and do some good. There's a kitchen witch's sort of craft in that. You might run a bath if you're so lucky as to have one available to you. And while the magic users advise all sorts of herbal additions that can restore your senses, from rosemary to anise seed to oils of lavender and rose geranium, I think the nature of a hot bath itself can set many things aright and settle your head and capture and draw out the little poisons that try to make their way into our hearts, our bones, our beliefs about our strength to endure. It can just make some time to think away from electronic devices and the urgent mental demands that being a human in relationship to others can make on us. But if you ask me, this quiet one lingering in corners, drawing enough from the weave of the world to know, I say these are good things, useful maintenance, but if you are spinning in the tide pools of your life, weighed down, sore with sitting in torpor, stuck, as really required, is five seconds of madness, five seconds of bravery, five seconds of insane courage. That's as long as it takes to speak the honest truth and move a thing from ice to water, from water to steam. Remembering that you have that power right now, it can be a bit terrifying. status quo seems so sensible. 
It isn't hurting anyone. But if you have discomfort and dread and numbness in your body, perhaps you're just overwhelmed by the idea of change. Truth is not comfort, but it must happen before comfort can swirl in and color the bathwater. And all that truth requires is five seconds of brazen courage to get the words out. Do this or you know it is necessary, and mountains will move. Pain may follow, loss and grief, but also joy and freedom and relief. And the key is in your palm, or rather in your throat, when you speak what is true for you. A thought I leave you with as recompense for not leaving me entirely alone in the dark forest. Thank you so much, and if you like these messages, thank you again. Uh, commenting and subscribing, all that good stuff. As I say, it's appreciated. Thanks.